Welcome back to uh, The Breakfast. Uh, we now will talk about what happened today, the 13th of November in history. We recall in November 2015, uh, Paris attacks were a series of coordinated Islamist terrorist attacks that took place um, today, Friday, um, uh, November. It, it's funny how today also is a Friday, and that happened Boy, yeah. <laughs> in 2015, on, on, also on a Friday. For, unfortunately, that was, I mean, each time I hear the description about um, its comparison to the, to the World, World War II, War II it's heartbreaking. 130 people died on that day. Yes. Uh, we also know that... Um, it affected um, immigration. The U.S. actually came up with a bill stopping, um, limiting very stringently uh, people from, from Iraq from and countries, yes. um, Iraq and Syria. Right. Uh, that's uh, some of the things that happened on this day. Um, three months state of emergency was also uh, instituted um, yes. in that area. And yeah. then they could arrest people. And then to see, these kind of things put ordinary citizens at risk. They could arrest anybody at will. There were a couple of laws that were put into place to, you know, to help the uh, French police to address the terrorism um, issues that they had then. Let's give a little bit more details. It happened, um, once again, on the 13th of November in 2015 in uh, Paris, France. And the city's northern suburb, St. Denis, uh, beginning at 9.15 p.m. It was uh, three suicide bombers uh, that struck outside the Stade de France in uh, St. Denis during an international football match after failing to gain entry into the stadium. Um, you can now imagine what would have happened if they had gained entry into that stadium. Another group of attackers then fired on uh, crowded cafes and restaurants in uh, Paris, and one of them blew himself up. A third group carried out another mass shooting and took hostages at a rock concert attended by 1,500 people in the Bataclan Theater, leading to a standoff with the police. The attackers were either shot or blew themselves up. And of course, eventually, when um, the whole issue was over, the attackers killed 130 people, including 90 at the Bataclan Theater. Another 416 people were injured, almost 100 seriously. Sad. Yes, um, I think really uh, the, the conflicting figures on those that were injured, though, the CNN is putting it at over 400, while Homeland Security um, said it's about 300 or thereabout. There is um, uh, the, the one thing I always try to look for in these um, uh, day in history is the lessons that were learned. I actually found um, a piece of document that is titled the Attacks on Paris Lessons Lent. And there were some recommendations similar to what, you know, we talk about here in Nigeria. Intelligence gathering was, yes. you know, top of the charts that there must be enhanced intelligence gathering. And they also talked about community engagement. Because if you, if you want to get intelligence from what they said and you, uh, you don't have, you know, connections within the community, Community. Again, it brings back home the conversation about community policing uh, in Nigeria because that is one of the ways we can get intelligence. And all the experts agree that without intelligence, security will continue to be at risk. Challenge. But if we are, if we have people at the grassroots trying to check Boko Haram, they are human beings, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yes, they are. You know, but one thing that, um, of course, you know how I would always sound. Um, I, I, I've always said that we've had ten years to learn from the Boko Haram um, insurgency, and you know, if, I, I always fear that we haven't learned our lessons. Uh, we haven't improved, you know, um, a lot more with regards to our fight against terrorism um, and with our security investments and our setup, our our response time. Uh, for example, you heard about the bullion van attack in Ajay yesterday. You know, the questions everyone will be asking is, where is the police? You know, how long will it take the police to respond to uh, to distress calls? If it was a terrorist attack, how long will it take the Nigerian police to Funny get enough, there? I think they had an inkling. They had, an, uh, they, they had a sense that something was happening, but they weren't sure. And the attacks were so coordinated that it's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to something <laughs> a little more cheerier that happened today in history. This one is too gloomy. Let's Let's move on. We're looking at the musical Broadway debut for Lion King. Lion King. The Circle of Life. I used to sing. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, what's the song by um, Angelique Kijo now? Uh, 
Don't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, but there. Uh, we are one. Uh, yeah, when I was in when I was in primary school, then I used to sing that song so much. Uh, All right, so it, let's tell you what happened uh, with that one. Uh, the Disney musical, longest running stage adaptation um, uh, for now. Uh, it's gone on for almost 20 years, if not more, uh, which opened on Broadway at the New Amsterdam Theatre on November 13. The show later transferred to another theatre in, in 2006, where it still plays today, and that's the Miskoff uh, Theatre. Uh, there's been more than 8,000 shows. Um, it is, like I said, the third longest running show on Broadway, and it is the highest grossing show of all time. It won six trophies at the 1998 Tony Awards, including Best Musical, Best Costume Design, and Best Direction. Um, since its premiere, 24 global productions uh, produced by Disney theatrical productions have been seen by more than 90 million people Phenomenal uh, that's that's Phenomenal stuff. Uh, it, it's just it just has so much fun memories each time i it takes me each time i think about the lion king it takes me to my teen years you know um listening to this that's the song that will play forever in my head probably the day i die i'll say they should play it Akuna matata. <laughs> Akuna matata. Uh, yeah. but have, have you have you have you ever um, been to a musical or um, a stage play unfortunately like i haven't had the pleasure to i'm looking forward to you know, being uh, able to be in the theater where you have such live performance. It's, it's beautiful. It. It's beautiful. It, it's one of it's, it's one thing that you would always um, you would enjoy every moment um, of it. Yeah, You've been and, obviously. And, and, and the crazy, you know, part of it is uh, stage plays. You you can't make any mistakes. <laughs> you know that's why people always compare them. You know, with being in a movie. Or being on stage. Well, they, they, they learned that I, I was There's reading the practice. background to read. They learned a lot as they went. There are times they almost lost hope. And then, you know, things with the theater, they have to cut out certain scenes for logistics reason. And they said when they started, people didn't believe that, you know, they could make something uh, from it. And they said that this opened the way for other uh, stage Musical production like Aladdin and the like. So every story has a backstory. Every success has a backstory. And that of the Lion King is no different. But it is on this day that it um, debuted as um, a Broadway musical. The adaptation. 1990, 1990, 1997. 1997, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, we, we, I, I know we're about to wrap up, uh, but we, we also should and i'm hoping that this helps us to do a little bit more with regards uh, our entertainment industry in nigeria uh, we can't just be you know stuck with albums congratulations to davido by the way on his new album we can't just be stuck with uh, music and you know nollywood there, there has to be a little bit more that people can enjoy uh, I don't have to wait. On, yes, I know that there's, you know, Terra Culture and a couple of people who are still putting in a lot of work with stage uh, uh, plays. So kudos to them. But I, I, I want there's us to, always room to for look growth. into. Yes. But Sarge, don't be so look. hard on entertainers I'm encouraging in them. I, wa I, want, I want us to do more. <laughs> I, I want to have a weekend where I'm not thinking of what you want to do. What to do. You know, I'm not thinking of going to. Ask me. You know, the, I will tell you what to do. Uh, yeah. weekend. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.